it's Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing really, really well wherever you are. Today in Newcastle, it is absolutely lovely. And you might be thinking, hey, you look the same as the previous video. And you'd be right, because um, I'm really bad at my timing. And so it's, it's, I'm like a bus. That sounds really bad. But I'm like a bus in terms of videos. Like, one, like, you're waiting all for one, nothing comes, and all of a sudden two comes at once. And in my case, you're gonna have about three or four videos, one after the other, and then I might have a big massive pause. It's just the way that it's rolling at the moment. Um, I don't know if I like the analogy of me being a bus, um, but welcome to my channel, if you are new. <laughs> um, if you are new, um, I do a lot of Lush videos, I love Lush, and I talk about bath cocktails, I talk about unboxings, I do big hauls. So if you're curious about the products, there is a playlist down below that is all about Lush. And in fact, I'll leave it at the end for you. I'll leave it at the end for you. Watch this video instead and then click on the playlist. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna take you through this month's Lush Kitchen subscription box vote. And you might be thinking, if you're here and you're thinking, I don't know what that is. Um, the Lush Kitchen subscription box, I've got a box here, because this is for this month, I've not opened it up yet, is a monthly subscription box for the bath and shower. You get up to five full-size items in here. Sometimes you get a bit of swag. We've had tote bags, dream journals, jigsaws. We've had a bits and that. We haven't had anything like that for a while, which is a shame. I like that. It's £35 a month plus £3.95 shipping, but you can get a delivery pass on the website for £15 a year, and that entitles you to unlimited deliveries including the kitchen subscription box. So if you got the kitchen subscription box and you bought the delivery pass, you're saving about £20 a year. Is me math right? Probably. Um, so it's a good deal to get the delivery pass. This month's box I'm gonna talk about is a very exciting one because it's the Halloween theme and I know and a lot of I know a lot of you guys who watch this video, you are spooky babes. You love the Halloween stuff. This is the only time that maybe you might actually subscribe to the subscription box because you love the Halloween stuff. So I'm gonna take you through everything that's up for vote. What's special about this month's box that's coming up for vote, uh, November's and December's, they're all gonna be in the shops for you to go in and smell. So if you're curious about what we've discussing and you're thinking but I need to smell it and I'm a bit, I'm like humming and horror about what I'm gonna get you know you can try a little bit of the body lotions on or a little bit of the shower gel and um, to get an idea the, I don't think people will be demoing the bath bombs but anything that's in a bottle in a pot you can have an idea and you can pick up the bath bombs to have a smell so what I like to do is I like to take everybody through the boxes my lighting is absolutely shocking I do apologize one day I'll get this right let's go through everything so the first thing on the list is Nightwing. So Nightwing is a bat shaped shower jelly and I know that all you guys love the shower jellies at Halloween. Monster Octopus last year, absolute killer. And everybody was wanting it and it just smelled so good. This year we've got Tarantula and Tarantula, I don't know where I've put it. Tarantula smells like tangy cherries. It's amazing. But Nightwing, is Kalaka scented or Zesty, it's had a rename, Zesty scented, which is a beautiful, refreshing, kind of zesty, as the name says, lime smell. It's like a kind of lime cocktail even. It's really punchy, really uplifting. Um, and I actually remember when this came out and it was on the till point and I remember picking it up and being like, ooh, what's this? And they were giving it a little poke. I've never seen one of them before. And then smelling it and being like, Oh no, I didn't like it. But I really like the Zesty Scent family. Um, the new Halloween range, the Bigfoot Bath Bomb is Zesty Scented. Um, obviously you've got the Zesty Body Spray. And then uh, you also had from previous Halloween, you had Monsters Ball and also the Toil and Trouble Glow in the Dark Thunderbolt, which has been discontinued. But some shops may have it and it might still be online as well. So the ingredients I hear you ask. So you've got in here glycerin, water, sodium lauryl sulfate, you've got propylene glycol, fresh lime juice and aloe vera gel decoction, carrageen extract, lime oil, carob uh, syrup, um, and then you've got like some colours and things like that. Full disclosure, I did that thing again where like I forgot to save the screenshots of the ingredients. So I've just plucked these from the internet. So sometimes I do tweak them over the, over, over the years, the ingredients. So it should be roughly what that is, but you can always check in the shops as well to check their physical things. But I actually, again, really like that. And 
I didn't vote for it because I have a lot of shower jellies. You can see them behind me. I have a lot of shower jellies and I'm not using them up. I need to actually, I take. A, I want to take a blender to them and blitz them and, and give it a try. Um, so that's the reason why I didn't vote for it, just because I've got a lot of shower jellies that I'm not using. Next up is a really cool one. And this was an, a, a very limited edition product um, that you can only get in the anchor shops and this is Demon's Bath Oil. It's a Lord of Misrule scented, so patchouli, black pepper and vanilla scented, sweet and spicy and I know that a lot of you love Lord of Misrule and obviously this Halloween Lord of Misrule has got massive, it's a huge range, we've got like massage bars now and body sprays and... Uh, what else is it? A, a bubble bar as well as like the usual shower gel and bath bomb. So it's like really big this year and so you've got the little bath oil. The bath oil is it's roughly about this big, the size, um, the kind of the circumference of a small sample pot. And it's what you do is you run your lovely bath. You could put a Lord of Misrule bath bomb in there as well if you wanted like an extra strong Lord of Misrule scented. But you're going to drop that in and this is a black um, bath oil. and I haven't had this one, but I, I don't know if it's black all the way through, if it's if it's got a different colour inside of it, maybe like a dark purple heart, a bit like the bath bomb, but it's going to melt and create these pools of black oil which are going to soak into your skin and make your skin lovely and soft. So if you aren't a fan, say, of body lotions or body conditioners and you want to get that moisture in your skin, a bath oil is quite nice. And obviously, Lush did used to sell a lot of bath oils, um, but then when the pandemic hit, they discontinued all of them, which is such a shame because I miss UV mango and vanilla fountain like so much not vanilla fountain, floating island sorry so much but the ingredients are fair trade organic cocoa butter sodium bicarb, cream of tartar and um, we've got laurel 4, sodium laurel sulfate, perfume, laurel betaine, black cornflowers, black pepper oil, patchouli oil which will probably be now the dark sumatran patchouli oil Vanilla Absolute, Activated Charcoal, Titanium Dioxide, and then you've got your Synthetic Fluorofluorogate. Say that differently every time. Essentially, it's a little bit of shimmer. And then you've got your colours and things like that. It's a bit of luxury to your bath. Um, me, personally, I didn't vote for this one because it's a small item. As beautiful as Demon's bath oil is, it's a small item. And what I would prefer because I'm greedy, is just to have some bath oils back in the actual shop um, or make a bath oil slab or, or a small or a one like a little small mini chocolate bar shaped bath oil that then you can snap up a bit like the sleepy tablet that we had in um, last April's um, subscription box so it's a bit bigger so it's a good, you get a bit more use out of it so that I didn't fall for that one but obviously if you love Lord of Misrule and you miss the bath oils that is the one for you. Next up, and spoiler alert, it's one that I did vote for, is Potion Lotion. So it's a body lotion. And this is a beautiful, spicy, autumnal, floral smell. It's quite unusual. And again, I would really recommend going into your local shop and asking if you can pop a little bit on the back of your hand to have a smell. Because it's kind of got this kind of like um, really fiery kind of smell to it, but like the floral comes through and it's a nice kind of lightweight, I'm, I'm rubbing my hand here, lightweight body lotion that sinks, it sinks in really fast um, and it just smells so good. It's very unusual. I've never had this before, so I was very excited to try it in the shop um, and I really enjoyed it. It was just, again, like that, that unusual kind of smoky, fiery sort of a smell mixing with this beautiful, delicate floral and put them together. So I really enjoyed that. I would hope, and I hope that in the, in the shop it's only a 100 gram bottle, I would really like a big one because obviously I'm a bougie, a bougie moo, and I would like a bigger bottle, but it's absolutely stunning. Um, so if you like that kind of autumnal sort of a scent, I think that'll be lovely, and I think that would pair it really nicely, again, with like a Lord of Misrule, or um, oh, a, a, like a, the Pumpkin Pumpkin Bath Bomb. I think like if you're having like a bath cocktail and you really want something kind of spicy on your skin, I think the Potion Lotion will do really well for that. So the ingredients are fresh rose, Petal infusion, almond oil, cocoa butter, glycerin. Uh, you've got fresh tangerines, rose absolute, carnation absolute, tangerine oil, and then you've got like your, your kind of your preservatives and things like that in there. So lots of really soothing, gentle ingredients. That rose infusion and that rose um, 
the rose absolute it doesn't smell overly rosy because this is like another thing i was saying what i was saying before about going in and actually being able to smell the products and trying if i read that before voting i might have been a little bit put off but i, I i'd heard from like the guys at work and and my friends who have tried this before like thinking i'm gonna give that a go but if i'd seen rose in there first i might have been a little bit turned off by that but i don't get a rosy vibe from that but if you do have sensitive skin all that rose is going to be very gentle and obviously the almond oil is going to really soak in to your skin lovely and quickly so i'm really excited for that and i really hope it gets into the vote so if you like the sound of that vote for it please another one that i didn't vote for but i really like this product um, but I feel like we've had it quite recently, so that's the only reason why I didn't vote for it was Sparkly Pumpkin Bubble Bar. There is a Sparkly Pumpkin Shower Slime out in the shop. Where have I put all my stuff? I can't show you it, sorry. This is a really lovely smell. Again, it's a very autumnal smell. It's got a little bit of spice in there, but it's quite fruity at the same time. It's got a juniper berry. Um, and it's a little sparkly orange pumpkin and it has a little, little cinnamon stick in there to look like a pumpkin stalk and this will get you one very luxurious bath or two smaller baths again be a nice paired up with like your pumpkin 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 or maybe a little bit of milky bath for something that's kind of creamy in there as well just absolutely gorgeous and i think um that would pair up quite nicely with the potion lotion as well the ingredients that you have in here excuse me with my phone sodium bicarb cream of tartar You've got cornflour, juniper berry oil, lime oil, grapefruit oil, um, and then obviously you've got like your gold luster and your colours and things like that. You wouldn't think with that ingredient that it, that it smelled like it would smell spicy, but it has like a little bit of a spice to it. I wouldn't say like overly clovey or overly cinnamon or anything there, like but it's got like a little summer summit to it. Um, so if you want a, quite an autumnal smell in the bath, um, or if you miss sparkly pumping, pump pumping, if you miss sparkly <laughs> pumping sparkly pumpkin then definitely give this one a go and then the last thing that i voted for that i, that I want so desperately did i vote for sparkly pumpkin then i must have voted for sparkly pumpkin i can't have just voted for two things someone keep me right if you saw what i voted for but the last thing that i voted for i must have voted for sparkly pumpkin then i can't remember is ghost shower gel I've not had this, but I love the smell of Ghost. So Ghost shares its scent with the Lily Savon scent family that they used to do years and years ago, or Moon on a Stick Bath Bomb. Um, I think it smells a lot like 9 to 5 or Your Lucky Cat. Maybe a little bit lighter. I don't know if they... I'm sure someone told me that Lucky Cat 9 to 5 was Ghost scented, which I'm okay with because I think it smells beautiful. But this shower gel is a kind of a milky white colour with a little bit of silver luster running through it. It's, re it's kind of like as if you poured a ghost into the bottle essentially um, nice and just oh just a really delicate smell I, again i kind of think what a ghost might smell like as well the ingredients for this is dove orchid infusion rose water you've got fine sea salt white wine vinegar Ooh. And then you've got organic jojoba oil, jasmine absolute, ylang ylang, neroli. And then you've got snowflake luster. And so you've got bits of like, um, you've got some preservatives and things like that in there as well. Just a really lovely, delicate scented one. Oh, and I knew I'd missed something. I knew I'd missed something. I didn't vote for sparkly pumpkin, but I did vote for cobweb bath bomb. So this is a new bath bomb that's obviously an exclusive to the box i don't have the ingredients for this because i obviously forgot to save it and then i can't get a screenshot off the internet because it's a brand new thing but this one smells like black pearl shower gel from way back when or birth of venus uh, jelly mask if anybody remembers the jelly face masks this is a beautiful light lavender smell and I know sometimes people go oh I don't like lavender it's not heady it's not like a granny lavender again it's a very delicate smell and I really recommend going into the shop and, and having a smell of that but it's this really cool silver cobweb bath bomb with a little bit of sparkle over the top and it's just divine and I voted for that because I think it looks, 
I like the aesthetic of it and I'm very curious about how it will perform in the bath. I feel like it's gonna be really foamy in the bath, like really slow fizzer. Like this like the um the foam's gonna like unfurl underneath and I think it's gonna have I don't know what it has in it, but I how I imagine it, I would imagine that it might have like some silver glitter in it inside. Um but I'm really excited for that. I I voted for that and I really, really want it so I hope it gets in the box. But now that is the end of the vote. So yes, yeah, sorry. Um, I thought it, I knew there was something. It's because I didn't have the ingredients for it. Um, but yeah, let me know what you voted for down below. What you wish to come into the box. I was trying to think of something that I would want in the box that's not Halloween related. Um, that's not that's not up for vote. Um, I, do you know what it is? I would be happy, obviously, to get a couple extra items that's a surprise. But it, like, if they put a little swag item in, I would love, like, a little enamel pin of, like, Ghosty. Or a little enamel pin of pum Pumpkin Pumpkin, something like that. Or a patch um, as a bit of swag to go with that. Because um, I think it, they're like, really cute and I like to add that on to my, I don't have my bag here, but my little tote bag that has all the patches on. But yeah, I'd like to have my normal items, but I'd like a little bit of swag because we've not had that for a little while. Um, but yes, let me know what you think down below. If you like this video, give it a little thumbs up. And if you really liked it, you can subscribe to the channel. We're on our way to 3,000 subscribers. Um, when we get there, I'm going to do a giveaway. So if you've been on the fence about subscribing, why? hit that subscribe button but let me know everything that you're going to vote for down below and i'm going to see you in the next video